Hello YouTube and welcome to my first Minecraft video. Today I will be showing you my first redstone creation. A 10 digit 16 pin order sensitive combination lock with dead bolting system. Yoohoo! First off a big shout out to the YouTube user Minecraft Addict who gave me the tutorial for the combination lock programming. Next one in line is M Dog Boy Zero for giving me the ID for a dead bolt. And now guys, let's get started with the tour. Obviously this is going to be my 10 digit um, pad for unlocking the door. Um, as you can see the combination is quite simple. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And as it says on the other board, the pressure plate on the other side resets it all. Um, I think I've entered the wrong combination before, but let's try to unlock it nevertheless. As you can see, I'm waiting for the buttons to pop out because the delay might be too big for um, the system to handle. So be gentle with these buttons in order to try to unlock the door, because else you might fail. As it turns out, I've not entered three times the wrong combination, because the door is still unlockable. This pressure plate on the other side resets the whole thing, and now it's time for me to show you guys the redstone wiring behind it all. So this part, which we got right here, is where the shout out for Minecraft Attic came from. This is his design for making uh, order sensitive um, combination lock with um, automatic reset feature for whenever you push a wrong button. Um, if you really want to know how this is made, I'm uh, going to put a link in the description for you all to, um, to click his tutorial video. I'm not going to make one because his is quite in depth to it all. Um, he did it with only four buttons, but as you can see, it's quite extendable. Um, I do not do not recommend uh, that you do it with more than ten buttons because it can get ugly with uh, the distance of five reds, fifteen redstone dusts, uh, which are capable of powering before you need a redstone repeater. You don't want to use redstone repeaters if you go from the left to the right towards your RS nor latch that will give complications like um, tick delay and you don't want to have that. You w just want to keep it simple with a maximum of 10 buttons, uh, 8 in a row, 1 up and 1 up. That's all you want to do. Next up is my uh, freshly own made design for um, the dead bolting system. It works with nor latches and AND gates, that's basically all there is to it. Um, you want to um, put a bit of a delay towards the RS and all that so you don't power the end gate at the same time. Um, a big shout out towards MDogBoy0 for the idea to create a dead bolting system. Um, I just wanted to give it a go to try and create it so that it had more than one try so people could use it as a riddle combination look or things like that which I am actually going to use in my Atlantis project which I might give screenshots on later on well let's get on with it this is the unlock button um, redstone wiring which comes out from that block right there um, this wire goes towards um, a repeater to be sure so that you don't get any um, non-transmitted wires because um, this might got a little bit lost right here. Uh, oh yeah, that's where I want to go. Um, as you all might know, um, a power signal only travels through 15 blocks of dust, so that's why this redstone repeater is here to keep the signal fresh. Um, this is where it splits, right, is towards the RS nor latch, with four redstone repeaters which are put at maximum delay, so you don't power this AND gate at the same time, which might cause powering that memory RS nor latch memory cell. Um, so that's why the delay is here. Um, when you click the button, a power is sent towards this redstone wiring. 
um, will pass through these four repeaters which each have been set to four ticks um, allowing um, to power this memory cell um, a few ticks later then um, this wire will blow out again before it will reach this part so what happens is you press the button there power comes in goes towards this delay here activates the memory cell output will remain powered but this will be depowered long before this hits the AND gate whenever you got the wrong attempt this one will stay on and you're gonna have to try again to push that unlock button a power signal will come through here powering the AND gate putting this wire on and repeating the process over again towards this memory cell um, again the delay so it won't power this at the same time uh, activating the final memory cell for it um, if you make your third attempt it will go through here from the second attempt this memory cell will be powered powering that signal um, the third attempt will send the pulse towards that thing again powering this um, line again powering that line and gate activates powering this line and eventually powering this line from the memory cell this line is where it all comes down to it's going into an inverter to make sure that um, the power signal is correct for the AND gate um, also I've diverted um, a path from the pulse from the first pulse signal towards this AND gate what this AND gate does it wires to another AND gate um, which eventually is going to go into a memory cell but first things first, things first this um, inverted signal is there to um, make sure that whenever that final memory latch is activated that this will never come on again thus uh, disabling this wire to ever come on again unless you would reset the whole system but this would be unable to power up and essentially disabling that memory latch from ever, from ever powering the door which we want to have in the end this is the signal which comes from the combination lock I think it is yes this is the output from the combination lock um, this is going to get wired into uh, the AND gate here so that whenever there's a positive signal and thus powering these two at the same time powering this line powering that line from the right combination will power this cell when this cell is essentially activated it will wire um, towards the inverter underneath the door and thus unlocking the door which we want to have I hope you enjoyed the tour towards the um, through the whole system of redstone wiring um, final bit is the reset button but I suppose that if you have basic knowledge of how redstone uh, gates work and memory cells that you will know what to do to make that reset button work globally it's resetting all the RS NOR latches including the RS NOR latch from the combination lock so that whenever you step on that pressure plate the whole system is reset um, not only resetting the dead bolting system um, and that's basically what you want to have um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want me to make a step by step tutorial for this dead bolting system please subscribe <laughs>